friends, welcome to another American Crafts Design Team project. I'm using the Chamel Head in the Clouds collection today for the entire project. And I have the idea, you can see I already have a huge pile of hearts spilling onto the page. And what I did was I just pre-punched hearts in little bits. So this is the Chamel die cut pack from the Head in the Clouds collection. And my idea is I have a folded envelope there in the center of the page, and I want it to seem like there's an envelope full of hearts and little leafy bits that has spilled open and everything inside is kind of drifted onto the page. There's a lot of movement going on, so the hearts are kind of spread in a little wave pattern. And here I'm using the American Crafts Knockout Punch there in the center, it's 0.425 heart size and that I used on the project pad the rose gold glitter paper. So you saw me flip through the project pad from American Crafts and uh, the Schmel and the Clouds collection and I like the project pad because it comes with stickers and alphabet stickers and different textures and card stocks and it comes with this rose gold glitter paper as well. And you can see I've taken some of the die cuts to use as a journaling spot there. And that white envelope was just to hold the place. Now this is the Schmel Head in the Clouds little sticker book and I'm going to use that to embellish the page as well. Now I get the idea to use the We Are Memory Keepers Happy Stitch Pin. This is a new product from We Are Memory Keepers. And I'm going to hand stitch some white thread to make it look like it's kind of just falling at, following the same wave motion of the hearts falling, falling out of the envelope. So I'm using the threader here that comes in the package and threading the white embroidery floss. This is really simple to use and it makes the hand stitching go pretty quick. So I'm just going to hand stitch and eyeball a little wave motion. Um, for the hearts onto the background with white embroidery floss since uh, the color, there's so much color on the page. So I didn't get a chance to use this collection, the Head in the Clouds collection from Chanel came out in the fall of 2018, but I didn't get a chance to use it because fall leads to Christmas and it's just a busy season with all, all the birthdays in our family. So. I'm glad I'm getting to use it now. This is a really adorable and whimsical collection that has lots of different, it has lots of blues and greens, and it also has pinks and purples, so it works for any project, masculine or feminine. So I've stitched and I'm just pulling the threads tight, and then some of them pop through, so I'm just adhering with scotch tape on the back. I'm going to do a second and a third stitched row. And that is the envelope that I'm going to use that will hold the photos. And you can see that I kind of messed up on using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope on the below punch board. So here you see I'm going to cover the left side of that envelope where I didn't punch it properly. I didn't want to waste this gorgeous paper. So I went ahead and used it. I just covered the left side with the punched hearts. So here's the Chamel and the Cloud sticker book, and I'm using the itty bitty envelopes full of hearts and flowers as embellishments on the page. So now that I have the idea and I have the title on the bottom right there, uh, the die cut little tag that says love you today and every day is what creates the title. So here's another envelope full of flowers that I'm adding to the journal spot there. I haven't adhered the envelope or the journal spot down because I want to get the placement just right. So I'm adding these puffy sticker hearts. I love that they're colorful. So I'm going to add a puffy sticker on top of this doily punched heart. And I use several different heart shapes. I use this super itty bitty two knockout punches from American Crafts. And I'm just seeing where I need some different textures. So I like having the puffy stickers and the paper hearts. I'm going to add the puffy sticker on top of that chipboard heart. And also over here. So I'll have kind of three areas of embellishment. And I want to add the different textures. 
So now I'm got, what I did to adhere most of the hearts was I just folded them in half and then used the American Crafts Red Line Tape to hold down the center portion. That way I could lift up the sides and it would add more dimension. And you can see how I'm using the hearts to hide that left side of the envelope where I didn't punch it right. That's okay, you can always cover it up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just covering up that side and piling on different the different patterns from the Head in the Clouds collection. And I like that she has so many different scales of patterns. So there's lots of tone-on-tone -tone patterns that are really easy to work with. The light blue tone-on-tone -tone with the dots, the light blue and white stripe, the pink and the pink and white dotted paper. There's just so many nice patterns to work with. It makes it really easy to add a lot of different pattern, but it doesn't overwhelm the page. So the envelope is mostly the, the biggest pattern on, on the page or the focal point. And I also cut out uh, one of the papers in the very beginning. I'm not sure if it, it got shown. I might have cut it out. Uh, had the little the unicorn and the frog prints so I just cut those out with a heart punch and I'm using the new American Crafts Express Bond sticky thumb adhesive it's a quick dry glue so I'm using that for the little bits these little leafy bits I wanted to add along with the hearts just because there's going to be green in the photo and there's green on, on the envelope and I'm just using that picture as a placeholder I want to see if a three by two three by four photos can fit in this envelope so I'm just using that picture of me and Amy Tangerine at Creativation so that's just a picture of us that I had on my table and that I'm going to scrapbook eventually here but I just wanted to stick it in here to make sure that I could fit a couple different photos and you'd be able to see them both and I'm just like yep that'll work so here I'm moving over the thickers that came with this collection or that were also created to coordinate with this line. They're kind of a rose gold glitter. So it goes with the rose gold glitter paper in the project pad. So I'm just holding this. It says it bonds in five seconds or ten, within 10 seconds. So that's pretty great. You can just hold down your little bits where you want them to adhere with this express bond glue. So I'm just having some of the leafy bits to add some more movement and texture so that we have something different, a different shape other than the hearts on the page. And it kind of ties in the pattern on the envelope because there's little leafy bits on the envelope as well. And I'll just adhere that tag so that you can kind of see that the title says love you today and every day. And then I'll use that journaling, the teal or aqua journaling die cut there to add my hand handwriting. So I'm just grabbing another tester photo. That's not the photo I'm going to use, but it's just another three by four photo. I just want to make sure that you would be able to see both subjects because this is going to be filled with two photos of my kids. And you could always add more photos. Like it's, it's a pretty hefty envelope, so it will definitely take more than two photos. So that's, this would be good if you have lots of photos from one event. Now I want to use the glitter enamel dots. And these are great because they can add a different texture. So I have the puffy stickers and the glitter enamel dots from Chamel as well. So I'll add the glittered enamel hearts here in different areas just to add a different texture so that we have the paper, we have the glittered hearts, we have the little die cuts and the stickers and the rose gold glitter. So that gives a few different textures. I'm going to add one next to that little envelope on the journaling die cut and I'm just seeing how where else I need some more different textures. So I'm adding the blue there. And I like that the leafy bits are only adhered uh, at the very base. That way they can kind of pop up off of the page and add lots of texture. Oops. <laughs> so here you can see I've added the two photos. These are both 3 by 4 photos. You could also add a larger photo to fit in the pocket. 
and my journaling is handwritten and finished, so I'm going to adhere that. I've added a chipboard heart, and there you can see the journaling, or pause it if you want to read it. So this is a page to both of my kids, and I just wanted to reiterate what I had in the journaling and kind of the whole story about this page is I feel like every day is a gift and it's a gift like an envelope full of hearts and you can open it and it can flutter out around you and just remember to cherish the love that you have for each other. So here I'm adding a chipboard heart with the express ball and glue and if it squeezes out, all you have to do is take a piece of paper. I'm going to grab an envelope or an extra piece of paper here and just scoot away that extra adhesive that's... There you go. See? I just take a paper edge and run it along there and it grabs the extra glue. So you don't have to worry about that. This dries clear, completely, absolutely clear. So if you do get a little bit out on your page, it's okay. But it is easy to wipe off. So this page is almost done. I just have to adhere the last little random bits that I didn't adhere to start with. And I love how this page turned out. It's a really heartfelt page. And I hope you get to create with the Chamel Head in the Clouds or her new collection, Sparkle City. And if you do, I'd love to see what you do. Share it with us in the Facebook group at American Crafts or Chamel's Scrapbook Like a Superhero on Facebook community. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here. If you'd like and subscribe to see more American Crafts Design Team videos or Vicki Booten Design Team videos or the Reset Girl Design Team videos. And I also do some planner videos too. So thanks so much for spending your time here on my channel. I appreciate you and have a great day. Bye!